is the long view? Part of it, I guess, is you are kind of a long way back and they're quite wide photographs, so they're taking in a lot of stuff. The other part of the long view is time-wise. Auckland is a city in transition. Mary's got stories within stories. A photo like this, for example, you've got depth, you've got this rail over this bridge leading you in, you've got this white wedding thing, the light, the mural, there's quite a lot going on, there's pictures within pictures. You've got that kind of decisive moment thing going on there where the ball is framed here. The photo goes right back and it's sharp right back into depth where you've got these apartment buildings here, you've got cars, you've got a little guy here. Previously to do this kind of work you had to use a large format film camera which was kind of cumbersome and you couldn't get instantaneous images because with a big camera Stuff would move and people would blur, and you can only take one or two shots. The current technology with digital photography has enabled photographers like Mary to capture a lot in very fine detail. You have to be very careful and you have to have a very good eye. And I think Mary's done a superb job of it. Now seeing the photographs up big, they make a lot more sense because you can see a lot more fine detail. There's a lot going on in these. People are accustomed to, when they see a line of photos on a wall, just kind of walking around, but you can't just glance at these. They take a while, they, they take time to absorb. 